what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is Maple and Honey. Last time we tried the 10 year old Old Fitzgerald. Here we are, we have the eight year old, the second batch of the 2023 Old Fitzgerald Bottle and Bomb Bourbon. This one was a little bit hard to track down, but we finally did it. I'm happy to have the bottle here. We'll do a quick review of how it tastes and I'll give you my recommendation at the end. Let's get right to it guys. I messed up on the sticker peel, so it looks a little bit wonky, but here it is. Apologize for the presentation. Here we go. The MSRP for this is around 120, 130. That's what I got it for. But I think on the secondary or on liquor stores or online, it's going for five, 600 easy. I haven't seen any reviews on it yet, so I don't know what to expect out of this, but you know, happy to try it. I haven't had an old Fitzgerald that was not good. This one is a bit younger than some of the other old Fitzgerald batches, but you know, some of the younger batches are actually not bad. Actually, I heard a 19 year old Fitzgerald is pretty healthy, so just because it's eight year old doesn't mean it's not a good juice. So, all right, let's get right to it, guys. On the nose. Very caramelly vanilla, eh? Not much oak going on here. And it's just sweet, sweet, sweet notes coming through. All right, guys, cheers. Here it goes. It tastes somewhat similar to the 10 year old that I recently reviewed, um, but it has more sweeter notes to it. More vanilla front, more caramel front, um, not much fruit. Uh, I know on the, on the 10 year old, I detect a lot of fruit, but not much fruit. There's slight, oak, less oakiness for sure, but just a lot of sweets, a lot of caramel, a lot of sugariness coming through. Let's try the second sip. Mouthfeel is a little bit more milder. It's the best way I could describe it. The finish, it doesn't stay as long. I don't know if it's because it's only eight year old bourbon, but finish is a little bit lacking. Say that for sure, but you know, the flavors are there. A lot of sweets, a little bit of nuttiness coming through, so sweet and nutty. And that's that's about it. That's about it. Maybe I'm missing something. Let's go for another sip. Very easy to drink, very, very sweet. Some kind of buttered, like cornish, but butter popcorn, somewhat like a butter popcorn aftertaste. Mouth feels okay, not outstanding, but just okay. Uh, but it's it, it doesn't last long. Um, it leaves you sort of wanting more pretty soon after it goes down your down your hatch, which is not disappointing. Again, it's a bottled and bond. It's only eight year, but you know the flavors are there. The nose is okay. The mouth feel just okay, and the finish is I think is the weakest part of this bourbon. But again, it's very vanilla sweet. If you like the sweet vanilla caramelly, sugary, you know, a little bit butter popcorn-y nutty taste. This might be right along your alley, but otherwise there's not much to it. Not oaky, no wood, wood chippy, no smokiness at all coming through. I wouldn't put this over ice or anything like that. You just drink it as is, it doesn't burn you. It's very accommodating bourbon, that I can say for sure. So I got this bottle and costing me about $130, which is around MSRP, which is right around there. But if you think about it, for eight year old bourbon, you're paying $130-ish. That's a lot, that's a lot. And you know, I try to put things into perspective where if this wasn't a Old Fitzgerald bourbon from heaven hell, if this wasn't a highly sought after, very highly regarded bourbon, I probably wouldn't have paid $130. Only because it's only eight year old bourbon. And now that I taste it, you know, it's not very multifaceted. The experience is rather curt. I think for $130 bottled in bond, there's a lot more choices out there that you could have that might give you a better experience depending on your palate. But I gotta tell you, it's a crowd pleaser. People love this bottle. People love this juice. Old Fitzgerald, it's for whatever reason, people love it. Whether it's the decanter shade, whether it's the, the weed at juice, I don't know, but people love this love this old Fitzgerald bourbon and they go crazy for it. Again, you know, it's on the internet for five, six hundred dollars already. Just came out a month or so ago. So while we're at it, let's do a quick side by side with the 10 year old bourbon that I recently reviewed and see what's what. 
This one is a 2023, the first batch of the old Fitzgerald, 10 year old instead of eight year. So let's see what the difference between these two are and is it really that two year old difference? Is there really that much of a difference? We'll find out. Compare the nose. They, I mean, honestly, they smell about the same. So I'm, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh my God, you know, these two are night and day when it comes to the nose. Uh, they're not, they're about the same. I can sort of taste the sweet, you know, like a, what do you call it? Those caramel corns during the, during October, during Halloween, those, you know, triangular shaped caramel corn. I smell that in both of them. But very caramelly, vanilla -y sweet smelling on the nose. All right, let's try the 10 year old now. Right off the bat, you taste the difference. This is a little bit more complex. It can taste the fruits coming through. The red fruits are right there uh, when, when, the, when the juice touches their tongue. And the oakiness, maybe the extra two years that really make the difference, but the oaky foundations, you know, you don't want it over oak, but you still want that oakiness, that sort of deep flavor of oak, you know, whiskey. And it has that. So more fruity, it still has a sweet, maybe not as sweeter than this one. The finish is much better. I don't know about significantly better, but it's definitely lingers on the, more on the palate. Go back to the eight year old. This one is just very sweet, very sweet. If if this is the amount of sweetness that's in this 10 year old, this one is probably like 50% more sweets in there. But in comparison, this one has more fruits, more nuttiness, a little bit of spice coming through where this one, no fruit at all. Maybe I'm just not detecting it, but no fruit, not much oak coming through and just sweet and easier to drink. Finish is lacking for sure. It's not, it's not the best of the finish. It's not the worst either, but you know, considering that this is the old Fitzgerald, you know, highly regarded, you know, a bottled and bond version. Everyone's looking for this one. I would expect the finish to be better. Um, it's going for five, six hundred dollars on the market. And I don't know. I've had bourbons that are half the cost of this, and I, you know, I remember having better finish and mouthfeel. So. Yeah, it's corn, very caramel corn and vanilla, and that's it. Whereas this one, the vanilla is there. It's more more lively in your palate, more lively in your mouth. And the, the finish is a bit longer, a bit bolder, and it sort of lingers a bit longer than this, which is more satisfactory uh, overall. Maybe that two year old difference is, makes all the difference. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Between these two, uh, it's a no brainer for me. I would definitely take the 10 year old. 10 year old was so good. It is so good. When I first tried it, it was very good. When I, I'm trying it right now and it's noticeably better than the eight year old. Uh, is the eight year old bad bourbon? No, not by any means. It's a delicious bourbon, but yeah, you know, should anyone pay, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars for it? For this eight-year-old beaded bourbon, I don't know. Maybe if it's much older, but man, it's gonna, it's hard to justify the the price that's going right now. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the eight-year-old bourbon. Have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.